Welcome to Speedway Harley Davidson. Today we'll be taking a ride on this 2024 Harley Davidson Breakout. Let's take a look. Let's go over a few of the specs of this bike really quick. The breakout comes with the 117 Milwaukee 8 putting out 123 foot-pounds of torque and 101 horsepower. The wet weight of this bike is 683 pounds. You're going to get this beautiful five-gallon tank that gets you 47 miles to the gallon. You are looking at a seat height of 25.6 inches. You're going to get a very aggressive look because of this 240 18-inch rear wheel and you have this beautiful 21-inch front wheel with a 130 tire on it. The wheelbase is 66.7 inches and this bike comes standard with ABS and traction control already included. You've got a LED front headlight. You still get the halogen turn signals, but you can upgrade those extremely easy. And you've got halogen rear turn signals and brakes. This is what you call a muscle cruiser, but let's get her out on the road. So looks like we are gonna switch over to this Alpine green breakout. The white Onyx Pearl did not get its opportunity to experience the battery tender. So we're gonna take out the Alpine green one, which is perfect. All right, let's get her backed up here. and cranked up there we go <laughs> quite a bit of inventory here as you can see Okay, and we are off. Now, there's no difference in specs between the White Onyx Pearl and the Alpine Green, except maybe about five horsepower just due to this beautiful Alpine Green color. Just kidding. So we're gonna talk about how this bike feels on the road. Oh my goodness, look at that. Looks like there was a little fender bender right outside the dealership. So I am six feet tall, about 200, I lost a little bit of weight, so about 220 pounds now. And this bike does come with the forward controls. It is quite roomy, but I am slunched over just a wee bit, but that is due to the bar placement. And you gotta have your bars right here for that aggressive styling. And this bike does sit on the soft tail platform. The bike definitely feels good on the road. Not feeling any of those road imperfections, but you're always gonna get a good ride out of a soft tail. You got that mono shock in the rear, and then you got your two suspension up front, which handle the road tremendously well. This bike definitely feels like it's raked out a little bit more than something like a Street Bob or a um, Lowrider, Lowrider S, any of those models. And because of that larger rear tire, you do have to give it a little bit to lean her over but it's definitely manageable and you will get a good ride out of this bike all right we're gonna get over here we actually have a lease following behind us today so we're not gonna ride too aggressive we're gonna get some photos over here at the speedway the bike does handle the curves pretty well it's not gonna be something you're gonna want to take up to the canyons and get to carving or doing some extremely aggressive riding on this is more of a stylist piece. It's gonna be that aggressive muscle cruiser. Now in a straight line, you can have fun all day. You can just rip on this thing. You got that 117 giving you plenty of power. You got that massive rear tire that's gonna give you a lot of rubber that sticks to the road that's going to throw this motorcycle forward with each twist of this throttle. Oh, I love that sound, that heavy, air breather that this 117 comes with when you rip on that throttle you can just hear it sucking in all that air like it's a beautiful sound all you gotta do is throw some slip-ons or a full exhaust system i would suggest a full exhaust system on this bike 
and you'll be a happy camper. So who is this breakout going to be for? This is going to be for someone who's just looking to cruise or go in a straight line extremely fast. You don't plan on doing a bunch of canyon carving. You don't plan on going up, dragging and scraping your uh, foot pegs, anything like that. Because uh, this is not designed for that. This bike is designed to have an aggressive stance, go in a straight line. You could definitely do some turning with it. But it's more of that muscle cruiser style. You are going to definitely get some wind, which is great on a warmer day. It'll keep you cool. But I'm definitely catching some wind to the chest and things like that because you don't have a windshield or any type of wind protection but i have seen these bikes with something like a memphis shades bullet fairing on it as well as there's some other options for you to get a windshield on here and it does not look bad like that it actually looks pretty good but the seating position just sitting here is extremely comfortable and you have quite a bit of lower lumbar support the seat almost feels grippy there's not a lot of places for me to move around on it I am locked in. You also are going to get your rear passenger pads and a passenger pillion. So it's ready to take someone out on that special ride down the coastline or through the city. In my opinion, the breakout is just a showpiece. It is a beautiful bike, especially with that large 21 inch front wheel. It definitely has some style to it. There's minimal things that you need to do to this bike. Just to make it more stylish one thing is definitely throw an exhaust on here whether it's a slip on or a full system you 100 percent want an exhaust system so you can get the sound that this bike looks like it should sound like the stock mufflers are extremely muted i'm not hearing a lot of exhaust coming out of them but if you throw some slip ons on or if you throw on um, a full exhaust system you'll definitely get the sound that you should hear out of a harley you don't have to get a breather. You already got a beautifully designed high flow breather on here. All right. We're just going to go down here to the speedway. Oh, we can go now. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm cruising right now. I'm in about second gear and I'm going to roll on uh, just to experience a little bit of acceleration. Let's go. Oh, yeah. The bike will definitely move. You definitely feel that performance out of it. We only shifted up to third gear and we already hit a nice little speed there. <laughs> so the bike has plenty of performance. The wheel in the rear isn't going to slip. It's going to grip the road and throw you forward. So you're going to definitely feel that acceleration. Comment down below. What are your thoughts on the Alpine green that this bike comes in this year? There is another fender bender. I guess once it gets warm outside, people stop paying attention to what's right in front of them. Come on, everyone. You got to pay attention out here. All right. We are officially in what I call the wind tunnel anytime we get right here there's an excessive amount of wind and it's not really affecting the performance of the bike at all this bike can handle wind with no problem it's pushing along you got plenty of power and you you're literally glued to the road you are stuck to the road at this point so you're not getting blown around anything like that we are at charlotte motor speedway we're going to take one more look at this baby once we get over here and if you want to see the photos we'll be taking today, definitely follow us on Instagram as well as Facebook. We also have a TikTok page, so follow that too. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video and comment down below. What are your thoughts on the breakout? Do you own a breakout? Have you ridden a, break, a breakout? All right, we're going to do the typical um, low speed maneuvers. Low speed maneuvers here in the parking lot. See how she handles all right so let's do our parking lot maneuvers now this bike isn't going to handle as easy as far as slow speed maneuvers as something like a um street bob or a low rider s because it is more raked out in the front but as you can see here you can do some slow speed maneuvers you just gotta feather that clutch a little bit and it should be fine as you can see we did a couple circles there and you can do it both directions definitely doable definitely doable let's set this bike up to get some photos and give y'all one more look at the bike the sunlight's there 
we're gonna put it right about here it's gonna give the speedway as that beautiful backdrop let's take a quick look at the motorcycle I love this alpine green that they came out with this year and it looks really good with the chrome and I love that they still included some black accent around the wheel as well as in the motor but you let us know what do you think of the brand new breakout if you have not had the opportunity to ride one of these this weekend at Speedway Harley Davidson come out ride and experience what Harley Davidson has to offer make sure again that you're subscribed to the channel like this video comment below and we will see you in the next one